Hi. I haven't posted on here in a couple of days, two days. I did thought, yeah, I did think of posting something, and I did record something, but then I eventually decided I would take a day or two to think about it before posting it. And then I just don't feel like posting it anymore. Today is Tuesday. It's not a bad day. It's a good day. Productive day, I would say. I painted a lot. But not just because I felt like painting, but this is part of copper boom work. Like I want to send everyone a tiny painting and a small note saying thank you if everyone's been so kind and patient lately so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna get these packing parcels shipped out this week or early next week and have them sent have them out of my hand and have them gone because it's been way too long and it's been niggling me the guilt about not having sent it even though deliveries have opened up i've just been too scared to go to the post office and see if they're working again so i'm not even gonna use the post office i'll just use one of these private companies and do it through them anyway the post office is giving me too much grief too like they have so many restrictions and so many conditions on how to get things sent that it just it's getting on my nerves and I would put up with them because they were really cheap and I could send stuff across the country for just 36 rupees but it's not worth the money I'm saving like I can't seal my parcels at home because just a sec yeah so I can't seal the parcels at home because they want to check through each and every parcel before they can send it out so I used to take every parcel there open show them each one and at least once they got familiar with me they didn't want to see each one so I just they'd see my face and they'd know what I wanted to send but I still couldn't seal them from home I had to seal them in front of them so they'd be assured that I wasn't doing any funny business I don't understand so I used to take like 20 parcels with me before work I used to go at like 8 in the morning when the post office would open, go there, stand in line, a long as queue, show them each parcel, and you can't send 20 items at a time. So you send in four, you go stand back in line, send in another four or five, go stand back in line. That would happen every time. They check each one. I'd shut it there, and because I was shutting it there, and it was I was in a rush, and there's no place to actually sit and do, do this properly. I would take, I would stick it up really shabbily. So that would be really annoying me because I put in all this effort of making it look good on the inside but then on the outside it looks like that. And it's this kind of tape where once you stick it you can't remove it and stick it again. It's done for life, for good. So yeah, there were too many problems. And then Uskupa, there was one girl who was really kind to me at the post office. Like one particular counter lady. And I'd see her all the time like because I was going in the same shift. And she was really kind and she knew what I had, so she should never ask, ask to check. She'd see me in the back of the line itself and say, pack your stuff. Otherwise, I would stand in line with my open seal packets. When my when my number came at the counter, they'd see my stuff and I'd need time to pack it, right? So I'd have to let two other people go in front of me, buy, buy my packet and then come back in the line. Itna magajwari I used to do just to save some money. But I guess I'm not going to do that anymore. None of the other shops do this. Most of them use private companies like Delivery or DTDC and shit. And they charge for it in their pa in their items, so I could do that as well. But also some of them do use the post office, but their post offices are not as anal as ours. Like the, I've spoken to the shops in the Northeast. And their post offices don't care about checking what's in the parcel. They just seal it at home and they bring it to the post office and then they just send it, that's it. That would be ideal. If I could pack it and go there, nothing like it. Then I'd stand in line. But having to seal it there, just, that's a nightmare. It kind of messes up my packaging inside because sometimes some of the people who don't know me, they want to check what's inside each one. And I pack everything in a 
in a packet, like in a brown paper packet. And I seal it, I tie it with thread and stuff. And to show them, I have to remove the thread, I have to open the thing, and they'll put their hand inside. And yeah, that kind of goes with Jesse's hand. Annoying shit. Anyway, that's my rant about the post office. And I've been waiting for months to rent that out. So it's all coming out now. Other than that, yeah, a few months ago, like maybe a month and a half before lockdown, they changed another rule where you could only send stuff if they if what is the rule you have to send it in a cardboard box you couldn't send it in a normal plastic bag like i do the amazon packets yeah they didn't want to accept plastic packets anymore they said the volume is more um what's the word distributed in a box rather than a plastic bag you know i don't know what the fuck that means but i guess they must have been making too many um mistakes and breaking people's stuff and so now they want to put that on us so we have to pack everything in a fucking cardboard box increasing the packaging unnecessary packaging that's going to go to waste and i can't send my stuff in just a box that's ugly as fuck i have to put it inside something else and how they expect us to bring it in a box, show them the box, and then shut the box in the post office. Are you fucking kidding me? The extra money that I would spend on packaging that shit, I'd rather spend on getting it delivered to a private company, even though I'm sad that I'm not I'm not um, giving business to the post office and <clears throat> directly to these people who work, <clears throat> who are probably underpaid and overworked, even though they don't seem like it. Most of them are fucking cocky and will not respect you and will not listen to to you and your doubts and they will not answer your questions no matter how much you ask them annoying pieces of shit I'd rather just give it to some richly funded venture capitalist venture wow venture capitalist private organization if they get my work done I can't help it but delivery is an Indian corporation so it's fine I lose delivery Delivery. They must really regret naming their company Delivery because they were probably based in Delhi before, but now they're not Delhi based, they're India based and they can't change their name. And people are always going to wonder if Delivery only works in Delhi, but they don't. Anyway, so I spent my day doing that and it felt like I was wasting time and being unproductive because I was painting and I wasn't really working on the laptop, you know. There's this whole, like even if I'm doing shit on the laptop, if I'm sitting on the laptop, it kind of feels like I'm utilizing my time in a way that's not completely wasted. But today, all I did, literally all I did was, in the morning I did a little work, FMC work, but I spent like five hours painting. Excuse me. Yeah, I spent five hours painting. So I feel like I wasted the day, even though logically I know it was a productive day. I've been putting this off for so long because in my head there was never an end date to when I could actually send these parcels, right? So I thought, what is the use of painting them in April if I'm not going to be able to send them till June? So I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Finally, I've done them. I'm okay, okay about them. Some of them have turned out not that great. Some of them are good. I was basically trying to imitate a painting I made a few weeks ago, a few days, maybe two weeks ago, that came out really well on fluke. I didn't even realize it was good back then. I realized today because I couldn't replicate it again and I realized I did something magical with that first one that somehow I can't seem to do again and I'm very pissed off. I tried in each painting I did, painting I did, I tried to do it again and it didn't happen. So I'm bummed about that. None of them are as great as the first one, unfortunately. That always happens, you know. The first one, without trying too hard, becomes inevitably becomes the best one that you put on Instagram. And the other selfies that came later just sit in your gallery forever. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to keep the first one for myself, obviously. And along with these paintings, I'm going to attach a tiny note. I don't know yet what the note is going to say. I'm going to write it tonight. Just a note saying thank you for being there and being patient, for being loyal. Just to, you know, massage their ego a little bit because I need them. Um, but yeah, I do deserve it. It's not like I'm 
writing this note out on my computer and fucking printing 20 copies of it and actually handwriting each one. I wouldn't print it even if I could. That's not the point of it. Although I don't like my handwriting very much, so I'm I would have probably reprinted my own handwriting. Like Xerox copied it. Like do it once. Well, I can't write 20 things in the same handwriting, you know. After the second one, the whole handwritten romance fades and you're just like fuck this shit. I wanna get it over with. Fuck I want water and I don't have water with me. But yeah, I finally get coffee room done. FMC is going well. I don't have any other updates about life. Ooh, I ate a lot of Chinese food today that I'm very, very happy about. It was a craving that I was, that I had for weeks now. I wanted to eat dirty Indian Chinese food, oily Chinese food. But... I didn't have, I, I resisted because obviously it wasn't safe to order from out, so I just didn't. But now the things, <clears throat> things are literally logically, not logically, rationally, we should be more scared now because things are getting worse, but I don't know, somehow I felt like I wanted to finally order it, so I did. I got a lot of Chinese food, I got, oh my god, I got dim sums. No, they were momos, I got momos. And I got a chicken bao. I got it because it. I was. I used to have these pork buns in Taiwan, and I literally have never had them since because you don't. At least I didn't think you got them here. I just found out today that you do get them here. But nobody has them in pork. Yeah, they all have chicken. So it was fine. It was good. That was fun. But now I've kind of overeaten and it's actually my workout time right now and the terrace is dry so I can go up but I'm so full that I can't work out right now. I ate at, I think I finished eating at 5.30, 5.45 and I have to wait 2 hours before I work out because my stomach still feels bloated and it just makes me feel sick. So I'm gonna go up at 8. And the terrace is dry so that's good. I just hope it doesn't rain again. But even if it does, it's okay because I found a solution to my problems. I have arranged... You wanna see that contraption I've done? Can you see it? Can you see it? So I've arranged uh, my black mat. Whoa! Okay, black mat. But over the... Over the red mat. So the red mat doesn't grip my hands and feet well. So when I'm planking and stuff, my feet slip and my hands slip. But it does the red mat doesn't slip on the floor. Whereas the black mat has the exact opposite problem. It slips on the floor but it grips my hand and feet perfectly. Like my hand and feet just don't move. They sink in like it's mud. I don't know if that's the correct way. Like it's concrete. You know, you don't slip on concrete very easily. So it's like that. So yeah, I've arranged the red mat underneath and the black mat on top and it works. It's perfect. So I'm gonna do home workout. If there is doesn't work out, set workout in this, two workouts in the same sentence and use them differently. But yeah. I think that's all for now. I don't want to make this a very very long video also already 15 minutes, almost 15 minutes. So, you know, I almost thought today, hmm, it's been two days since you posted on your vlog. Do you really want to continue doing the vlog? And I was going to abandon this project as well. That's the bell. That means auntie has brought us more food. Oh, fuck yeah. I hope it's not tasty. Anyway, so I decided I'm not abandoning the vlog. I actually enjoy editing these videos and like putting visuals and shit. So, and I, you know what I love most about it? Watching these uh, after I've posted them. Like just watching myself talk about shit. It's a fun exercise. At least I like to watch it only like 
maximum two times after I post, then I can't. Then my voice starts getting on my own nerves. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna try to not make these vlogs just about daily updates. But that's cool too, you know. Sometimes purposeless vlogs are nice. And someday in the future, I can just look back and see what my days used to be like. A regular day during lockdown. I'm a go now. You used to eat so many of these pork buns in Taiwan. And they look so good. And they weren't even great quality. They were for you better than even station. But even those shops had amazing food, cheap ass amazing. I don't want to try this.